Okay, people, let's play this video. Shocked and disappointed, that's the word from one city leader as several Laverne police officers are off the job, all linked to a sexual misconduct scandal. Good evening, I'm Vicki Yates. And I'm Rory Johnston. Yeah, tonight, News Channel 5's Nick Barris shares the very latest developments as this investigation continues. Several Laverne police officers here are caught up in something of a scandal. Everything from inappropriate sexual conduct, sexual harassment, lying, and word is, that's not the end of it. Shocked and overall disappointed with uh, our police department and what's, what's happened. Newly elected Alderman Kara Hobbs says since the story broke on Friday, she's been flooded with constituent calls. It's been really frustrating from a leadership standpoint to have citizens questions and concerns regarding this and I'm learning the details right along with the general public. Here is what we know. An internal investigative report documents explicit and graphic detail of officers involved in sexual misconduct, some of it happening while on duty and on city property. Five have been fired. Patrol Officer Megan Hall, Patrol Officer Juan Lugo Perez, Sergeant Lewis Powell, Detective Seneca Shields, and Sergeant Henry Ty McGowan. Three others have been suspended, K-9 Officer Larry Holliday, Patrol Officer Patrick Magliocco, and Patrol Officer Gavin Schoberl. Hobbs says details of the investigation made public so far have shaken public confidence in the PD. There's definitely going to be a, a time period where we're going to have to really emphasize rebuilding the trust of our, our community. Yeah. Police Chief Chip Davis issued a statement saying, in part, the actions of a few do not represent the entire department. The situation will be addressed internally and that counselors are being brought in to help officers. He also says there is sufficient staff remaining to cover all patrol shifts. At this point, these are all internal police department violations, but I did talk to the Rutherford County District Attorney. He says at this point, there's no evidence of criminal activity but it's something he will be watching very closely. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. All right, Nick, thank you. By the way, Laverne's mayor, Jason Cole, said he thinks the situation is unacceptable. His top priority is rebuilding the trust between the department and the public. You can read more on the report right now on NewsChannel5.com. Wow. Now she gonna end up being divorced, end up single, like Jesus Christ. So what's your thoughts on this video? Make sure you like and share and subscribe. I'm out, peace.